Hi, I am Mayur from Ansible.ai and today I'll be showing you some tips and tricks for efficient tagging of images for any computer vision task. So I'm using label IMG for my annotations. Uh, so first of all, let me just uh, select the whole image directory at once. So I'll click on this open DIR and then I will uh, select my images folder and then select folder. So here you can see that all the images have been loaded into label IMG. Now, first thing first is uh, if you try to tag the images now, so let's say I'll be tagging it to person. And then when I click on the save, I need to uh, uh, define the destination again and again. So for avoiding this, what you can do is you can select uh, you can create one folder uh, wherever you need to save the uh, annotations so I'll be saving here I'll be uh, creating new folder and I'll be renaming it XMLs and then select folder and then I'll click it and select folder so next time when you create this box and I'll select it after that click on save and here you see that we didn't have to choose the destination like the previous case and let's check whether our XML have been uh, saved into the destined folder so here I will go to pets and this is XML folder and here you see that the XML is built so we have seen how to set a destination folder and let's tag some more images so that we can verify everything is working fine so here I will click on next image and then I'll create uh, a box here so I'll tag as a person and then let's tag the dog and then next image oh yeah you need to save it and then the dog here And then the person click on save and then next image and then again let's tag the person and the horse oh yeah I again missed uh, to save so you must have noticed that it is necessary to click on save before moving to the next image otherwise it will ask for it so here is another tip to make this process more smoother and we'll be doing it with the help of the auto save feature so for that you need to go to view and switch this auto save mode on so here you can see that the auto save mode is on so now I don't need to worry about clicking on save again and again. So I can just simply tag this image. So let's say person. And then I can move to next image directly. And again tag it. then the next one let us now check that the autosave is working fine and we are getting all the XMLs so I'll go to my XML folder and here you can see that there are XML yeah you can't see the XML for the current image that is because uh, the way autosave works so autosave will automatically save the XML for your image once you move to the next image so here let's move to next image and uh, if I go back to the previous image the previous image was 7 Yogendra Singh and let's just check if the XML is made for it 
yeah here you can see that uh, for the seventh image the xml is successfully created the next step to speed up this annotation process is to make use of some shortcut so here if i again tag this image so it's a cat and this is a person so you can observe that i have to click on this next image so that the xml can be automatically saved but you can save this mouse travel time by simply moving to the next image using the shortcut key. So if you want to move to the next image, you can simply use the shortcut, press the D key. So here, if I press D, it will automatically move to next image. And to get back to the previous image, you can use A. So we have already shortened the mouse travel time by using the shortcut keys D and A. But still, we need to reach to this create react box icon to create the bounding box for every object. So here I need to move again towards this and then create a bounding box. press D to move to next image and then again I have to reach to this and then create a bounding box. You can cut down this mouse traveling time too with the help of advanced mode. So for that you need to go to view and click to advanced mode. Now I have to click on this create rectangular box and then tag the person. But this time, when I hit D to move to next image, I'll get the cursor already in the position to create a bounding box. So now, I can tag this as a cat and another one. And this one is person of course. So you can save a lot of mouse travel if you use the shortcut keys that is D and A to move along the images as well as using the advanced mode so that your cursor is always ready for creating a bounding box.